Hi there, I'm here to explain how to play One Too Many Rabbits. The object of the game is simple. Roll the dice in order to get rid of all the numbered rabbit cards in your hand before your opponents do. While you will be trying to get rid of your rabbits, your opponents will be trying to give you even more of them. But don't worry, you will also be doing the same to them. The first player to successfully rid themselves of all the numbered rabbit cards in their hand is the winner. Game Setup For a game of two or more players, setup looks like this. Everyone starts the game with the same 14 cards in their hand. Number cards, 1 through 12, 1 wild card, and 1 plus minus card. Once everyone has their cards, shuffle the remainder of the deck and place it face down in front of everyone. Remember to keep room on the side of the deck for a discard pile, or what we call the rabbit hole, where you will be tossing your rabbits. Roll the dice to see which player goes first, and then start to play. On each turn, you can choose to do one of two things. You can choose to roll one, two, or three dice to try and knock out some of the rabbits in your hand, or you can choose to commit an act of rabbitage against one of your opponents. Let's look at option one, rolling the dice to get rid of some rabbits. A player may choose to roll one, two, or all three of the dice on their turn. They will then use the numbers rolled to get rid of the numbered rabbit cards in their hand. Let's say you choose to roll all three dice and roll a five, a two, and a one. You could use all of the numbers on each individual die and toss cards 5, 2, and 1. You could add the numbers of all the dice together and toss an 8 card. Or you could use any combination of numbers on the dice to create the numbers that match the numbered rabbit cards you have in your hand. If you roll a number on the dice that you can't account for with any of your numbered rabbit cards, then you have to draw one card. Along with the number cards, players also begin the game with two special cards that can help them on their turn. The wild card and the plus minus card. The wild card can be any number you want it to be. If you roll three dice and you can't account for any of the numbers in any way, you can use the wild card to account for it. The plus minus card can be used if you want to add two number cards together or subtract one number card from the other, and it works as either a plus or minus. Let's say you roll two dice and roll a 10, but you don't have a 10 and you don't have a 5. You can use your plus minus card to make the number that you need. In this case, you can use 6 plus 4, which equals 10, or you can use 12 minus 2. Once you build your equation with your cards, discard all three cards into the rabbit hole. Now let's talk about option two, Rabotage. To rabbitage another player, give one of your numbered rabbit cards to any one of your opponents. If you choose to rabbitage another player, you do not get to roll the dice and you must draw two cards from the draw pile. Play then passes to the next player. There are two ways to give your opponent some rabbits without any consequences for you, and this can happen when you roll the dice. If on your turn you choose to roll two or three dice and you roll a snake in the grass, or what's more commonly referred to as snake eyes, or two ones, then each of your opponents must draw one card from the draw pile. If on your turn you choose to roll three dice and you roll any triple, where all the dice are showing the same number, then each of your opponents must draw three cards from the draw pile. We call this, have a nice triple. In the deck, there are two more special cards that can help players get rid of some rabbits. The first is the piggyback card. Players can use a piggyback card before the roll of any other player in order to piggyback on their opponent's roll to get rid of some rabbits. Here's how you use it. If your opponent chooses to roll the dice on their turn, before they roll, lay down your piggyback card and say piggyback so that this player knows that you will be using the numbers they roll to get rid of your rabbits. So if your opponent rolls a 1, 3, and a 5 on the dice, and you have cards that correspond to that roll, you can toss some of your rabbits using their roll. But since you're only piggybacking, you don't have to account for all the numbers rolled since it's not your turn. If your opponent rolls the dice and you can't use any of the numbers rolled, then you don't draw a card, but you also don't get to toss away any of your cards and you lose your piggyback card. Side note about the special cards. They do not count against you. If you get rid of all your number cards, but still have some special cards left in your hand, you win the game. The second special card in the deck is the Place Your Rabbits card. 
When a player draws this card, they must play it immediately and announce to the group, Place your rabbits. If a player is in the middle of a turn when the Place your rabbits card is drawn, wait until they are done to make the announcement. Upon seeing Place your rabbits, all players will be trying to guess the number that they think will appear on the sum of the roll of two dice. However, to place your bet, players will use one of the numbered rabbit cards in their hand to do so. So, if you have an 11 and a 12 card in your hand, and place your rabbits card comes up, you can only bet an 11 or a 12. Once all players have placed their bets, only two dice are rolled. If the sum of the number on those two dice matches the number card you bet, you get to discard your card into the rabbit hole. But if your bet is unsuccessful, put the number card back into your hand and draw one card from the draw pile. This goes for everyone. We have found that when a player gets down to just a few cards, it helps build the suspense and anticipation if they announce what number they need to win. For example, if you only have a 5 and a 6 card left in your hand and you announce to everyone, I need a 5 and a 6 for the win, everyone will be on the edge of their seats to see if your numbers come up. If they do, play your last card, strike a victory pose, because you have won the game. So that's how to play one too many rabbits with two to four players. If that's you, you're free to go and start playing. In solo play, you will be playing against the farm and trying to rid yourself of all of your rabbits before the farm can. For you, setup is almost the same as in regular play, but you will get one extra card in your hand. So deal yourself number cards 1 through 12, one wild card, and two plus minus cards. The farm is going to play with nine total cards. Deal the farm six random number cards, one wild card, and two plus minus cards. Deal to the farm face up so that you can see what you are going to be playing against. As you start to play, there are just a few rules you will need to know. Number one, there is no rabotage in solo play. Number two, when rolling for the farm, use only two dice. Number three, the farm does not have to account for all of the numbers they roll. If they cannot get rid of any rabbits on their roll, play simply goes back to you. All other rules apply. The first one to get rid of all their numbered rabbit cards is the winner. Good luck.